Hello everyone, I'm Nikki of the Clouds, and today I will be redesigning some really old OCs that I found. These two are fan-made OCs for a show called Maggie the Labyrinth of Magic. They are actually one and the same OC, they just happen to be the original version and the reincarnated cleansed version. If you are unfamiliar with it, Magi is a story that takes place in a fantasy world that it takes inspiration from Central Asia and the Middle East, as well as China. In the show, there are powerful sorcerers whose magic is so strong that they are able to make changes to the world itself. For example, one of the Magi, Yunnan, is able to raise dungeons that normal people can conquer and receive the power of various jinns, who are named after the Arsgoisha demons. The humans that have conquered those dungeons can then equip the power of those jinns and basically have magical girl transformations. There are also dark and light magi and dark and light magic, which is extremely relevant to this character. Now that we have the full context of the world, let's get on with the redesign. So you know how I mentioned that there's dark and light magic, as well as that this OC goes through a sort of reincarnation or cleansing? Today's redesign will mostly focus on her light version or reincarnated version, mostly because I already completed the dark redesign when I got the idea to record this for a video. So I will just go ahead and go over some things that I changed for her dark redesign before we go on and work on the light version. So in the old version, you might notice that there's a little bell near her ear, which I thought was really cute, I really liked jingles of the bells, but I felt that it being next to her ear and her being dark and evil and kind of crazy would make her... Basically the jingle would drive her really crazy, is what I thought. So in the new design, I instead gave her inklets that have several smaller bells and it's really far away from her ears. I also really want to ask my past self, what kind of design is that? I can't even call it orientalist anymore because just... What kind of fashion is it? You know? What is that? What are those puffy shorts, the sleeves? What is going on with the, the outfit? In her new design, I gave her an outfit they actually took from another OC of mine that I'm never gonna use. But the silhouette really matches the other dark magi, Judal, so I think it really fits her. I also gave her a nice dark veil to translate the translucent parts of the outfit from the old design into the new one. And it also relates to her new design, as you will see later. Also, I have to mention that in her dark design, she has really spiky hair to represent her kind of craziness and just unhinged personality. I also changed the color of her gold accessories from a really bright and vibrant one, which is honestly realistic, to a more desaturated one. This is just personal preference. If you like to draw your gold really bright, that's good for you. I prefer it a bit more desaturated, bit more lack of color. I also changed her skin tone from a really really pale to slightly more tan to basically represent the Central Asian slash Middle Eastern setting. So here's how the old design compares to the new one. Let me know what you think. Do you think that she still translates the same vibes? Do you think my character design has finally improved over the 8 years? For the second look of her, which is the cleansed slash uh, reincarnated version, we really have to tackle how absolutely naked and orientalist her outfit was. There is an uh, in-universe explanation for that. So you know how I mentioned that there are magical girl transformations? It just so happens that those transformations tend to be really revealing on ladies. And the story how this goes is that when the character got reincarnated, she was absolutely naked and had no clothes at all until she conquered a dungeon and got herself one of those magical girl transformations. And so I decided that, oh, her final clothes are the magical girl transformation, which are extremely revealing, and she makes people around her uncomfortable just by how naked she is. It's very cringe, I know. I was less than 16 years old when I made this. Originally, this character was supposed to be shipped with Ren Cohen, who is the prince of the country that is inspired by China. I just thought that he's so dreamy, he's so sexy daddy puppy. But after watching uh, some clips of him now as an adult, I don't, I don't really find the appeal anymore. 
like I used to be really into those dark daddy adult vibes back then you know daddy issues but now really I think I like Sinbad more he's you know he's fun he's reliable he's strong a really nice guy so in the redesign I'm also slightly changing her story that now she is Sinbad's girlfriend instead of Cohen's bye bye Cohen I still kind of love you this change in the story really affected how I approached her redesign, especially because I decided to finally give her some actual clothes and not just the magical girl transformation. If I had gone with her still being with Cohen, who is, as I said, the prince of the Chinese-inspired country, I would have given her more Chinese-looking outfits, perhaps inspired by the Hanfu or perhaps Qin Dynasty-inspired clothes. But because Sinbad is the king of Sindria and all of his people's clothes and his clothes look more, you know, Central Asian or Middle Eastern, that is the route that I decided to take for the character to redesign. Rather than going the Orientalist route and, you know, going for the typical belly dancer outfit for her, I decided to take inspiration from my own culture of Uzbek and Tajik clothing and design her clothes based on that. You might notice that when I started designing her outfit, I kind of went with a teal color at first. Mostly because if I went with green, she would look really close to Jafar, uh, Sinbad's right-hand man. But honestly, I think green is just such an iconic color for her. It matches her eyes, it makes her match with the other light magi such as Yunan and Shahrazad. So I decided to still give her green, even though her outfit makes her look really close to Jafar. <laughs> I also kept her little braid in her hair that, from her original design because I just really like braids, I think it looks really cute. And you can also see that I gave her a veil, and like I said, it's something that's ca carried over from her dark design as well. I also gave this square shaped necklace to her that is relevant for her magical girl transformation. Basically, in the universe, the jinns that you conquer, they have to inhabit some sort of metal vessel. And that becomes their jinn vessel. So that necklace will be hers so that she can transform. Because I gave her actual clothes this time, that means I have to go ahead and draw a second outfit for her, which is her magical girl transformation, which is also called a jinn equip in the universe. As I mentioned before, the jinns are named after the Ars Goisha demons. The demon that I chose for her jinn equip is Citri, the beautiful demon that you could honestly call him a demon of love because he has the power to make men love women and women love men. And he can also turn himself beautiful at the summoner's request. The reason why I chose specifically Citri is because there are so many media that take inspiration from Ars Goisha that I have consumed. One of them being Devils and Realist, which I watched way before Magi, and in them my favorite character was Citri. He had a really beautiful color palette, it really matches my preferences, I really love characters with blue hair. And so I decided to go with the feather theme for this character, inspired by Citri from Devils and Realist. There are also certain Jin equips on other characters in the show that kind of change the hair color as well as the hair texture. For example, this Jin equip that Sinbad does when he equips Folkalor. I know, not Folkalor, Folkalor. He gets this beautiful dark burgundy feathery hair. And oh my god, he looks so gorgeous. I am so weak to birds and birdmen. Ah! <laughs> and I also covered her hands and feet in feathers and gave her like claw, hands and feet. Because again, birds, bird people, harpies. To play with that theme of love, I decided to give her a heart-shaped motif in her little cloth that wraps around her. All of the Jin equips in other characters have that sort of cloth, so I had to give it to her as well. And then I also gave her these little golden horns, also shaped like a heart, inspired by Sinbad's golden horns in this Jin equip. I thought to give her wings on her head as well, but it felt too clashy with the rest of the feathers pointing out from her hair, so I decided against it. So yeah, that's how this one turned out. Let me know what you think, and this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed seeing the process that I go through when designing characters. 
and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for upcoming videos. I plan to be releasing a new video every week for the whole month of March. As part of a VTuber bootcamp project that I am participating in, after that is done, I plan to still continue releasing videos but on a more monthly schedule. I have a lot of ambitious projects in mind that the preparation for which I simply cannot fit into one week project, so I will be releasing a lot more videos but more monthly and more in-depth after March. Please hit Please hit the like if you enjoyed seeing the process. Please hit the bell like eh? seeing what I have seeing what goes in my head in game not in game carried over from her duck design as well. From her duck design